Okay, so I'm on here a little bit early. I'm trying to get this thing kind of squared away. I don't want to use um, StreamYard anymore because it just blocks all my videos. I think nobody gets to see them. So I'm on here a couple of minutes early and I did not pre-draw my patterns. So I want to go ahead and kind of draw that out. Oh, hi, it's Teresa with Teresa Parker Art, and it's Tuesday Night Live. Um, tonight we're going to be doing the Hot Pink Flamingo, which I did the other night, and I did it in a like a speed paint filming. Sorry, it's bouncing. Let me get this right here. So here is the, um, the actual tracer, but I want to make it bigger tonight, and I didn't have time to explode it or make it bigger on, on the tracer, so... We're just gonna try to draw it out real quick and we're gonna see how good we can get this to look. Going this way. And make it kinda like this, I think. And there's a little flower. We can kinda fix it up as we go. And then over here, we've got a leaf that's coming off the page. Hope everybody's doing good tonight. I have just been, it was kind of a crazy kind of day. And I tried to make my little tracer bigger. It didn't work out really well for me. So I thought, well, you know, I'm just going to go in here and see if we can kind of hand draw it. Doesn't have to be perfect. And you can see this actually was the, um, I actually had pre-drawn this canvas for the church back at Christmas time and I didn't use it. So we're just going to reuse this canvas. And that works out really well when I can do that. Go up and over for his neck and back down. And we're gonna see if that works okay. And over here to his tail and up underneath. And let's see if we go the other way. Let's do his beak. And his beak's a little bigger, right? And his face and his neck. Go around like that. Mm, I guess that's okay. We'll do his legs here. And this one you can see, and that one goes off the page, and that's okay. So hopefully he looks okay, his little eye here. And let's do another leaf behind him that kind of comes like this. And out like this. Sorry, I can't, you know, on me, I can't draw a straight line and talk. <laughs> okay, so like that. And the other night I put a leaf under him, but I think he's just too far this way tonight. So let's go ahead and we're going to put a flower here. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's kind of off, but we'll, we'll get it better. It should be like this coming in closer. So let's do this way. Bring it in closer. Yeah, I just had them a little too far away. And then we'll all go this way with that. And these guys are, these guys are a little better over here, a little closer. That looks a little better. So, I am a terrible, I cannot draw to save my life. So, I hope you can see this and I hope it looks right. I kind of got my my camera turned sideways, so if it looks really weird, um, can you just leave me a comment and let me know? Because it's, I can't, it's, all, it's so hard to tell. And I want to kind of be, be able to be able to see it up and down, but I couldn't really get it facing the right way. You know, it's like, to, I tip my phone, it says, turn your phone, like I'm going to break it or something. So, I've got some Royal Fuchsia, and I've got some green, oh, that green, and I've got a bright green. I kind of like that one better. I think I used this one the other night. And I got a little magenta, just in case I want to use a little darker. And we'll put some white out and some black out. And I'm going to go ahead and do, oops, sorry, I'm going to get my black. I'm going to go ahead and do the background first. And I'm going to show you, I drew it out so that I can go ahead and 
paint around it. Whenever you have a background and you don't want to paint over your drawing, you just want to paint around it, we can do that too. That's, that's pretty easy. Even if we go over the lines a little bit, you can always find those lines again. So this is gonna be kind of the background. Hope everybody's doing good tonight. And do this way here. I actually had a, an online class today and I gotta tell you, when you get older, it's uh, interesting taking online classes and trying to keep up. <laughs> Let's see. I'm just gonna paint this. The, the other night I used that Dollar Tree black. Where is it at? Oh, this stuff. I think I've shown it before. This is actually from the Dollar Tree. It's called, I don't know, Acrology. And I gotta tell you, it is like so inky and so wet and so dark. And um, I used it the other night, but I gotta tell you, it takes it so long to dry and I had used it on the background and had to paint over it. And oh my goodness, it was just, it was wild. So I don't, I use that sometimes, but I don't try to use it very often just because it is so wet and it just takes so long to dry. And I know it's supposed to be black acrylic paint and I'm sure that's what it is, but it's pretty thin and it's got a lot of tint in it, a lot of the black. So let's see, I'll do it this way. I'm trying to keep this a little round around my, around my flowers, but if I can't, then I'll just bring the, I'll just bring the, uh, the fuchsia out a little bit further and be a little dark around the edges. So I went ahead and covered up the little stem sticking out and that's fine. Put a little black here, I think. And black up in the corner. And I'm just using a little, I don't know, filbert looks like. And I'm just going to go in here. You can use any brush you want. And I'm just following my little outline. And then, let's see, go around the leaf here. This does take a little bit longer than just painting your, your background and painting back over it. But it's also kind of nice when you don't want to trace it or hand draw it again. You just go ahead and paint around it. And get that done here. I'm trying to keep it out on the edge of the paintbrush, but it's kind of hard. So we'll fix that a little bit later too when we add the pink and this tail. It's nice because you can always fix anything. Okay, so. His legs are going to be pink. And I guess we're just going to have to make that work. If we have to, I can go back in and I can paint a little white where the legs are supposed to be and let it dry. And the pink will paint right over the, the white. There we go. And use a little bit of water here to let it spread a little bit better. kind of got a little dry. There's his beak, his body, and the, the little, the little leaf here. Like that. Okay, we're kind of getting there a little bit. Oops. That's a little thick, but that's okay. We'll go back up here. Head. 
nice thing is too is we can come back with a detail brush and finish this black out really nice and it'll look really nice and smooth so I hope it's I hope y'all can see this right it's so weird when I do it on my phone and I have to turn my phone I never know how it's facing it could be upside down I hope not down here and down this way and I'll take the opportunity of all that space to get some of that paint off my brush didn't want to waste the paint this one, mm, kind of rounded, and we can fix it with the pink for sure, and if you want to do this and paint this one and paint the background a different color, um, I might actually do it, I really like this painting and I might actually do it with a blue background because I really like the like the island blues. What I'll do is I'll use, like later we're gonna use black for the highlights or the, the, the to mark it. And what I would do then, if I used a black back, a blue background, is I would use blue. So everywhere I'm using black, I would just use blue. So maybe we'll do that too. I'll show you how that can look, can look real pretty. So I kinda got that a little too dark, but we're gonna fix that. So I'm going to take a little white real quick and let me go ahead and let me make this round. It's going to turn a little gray and that's all right. Make that a little more round there and a little more round here. And we'll let that dry pretty good before we paint that pink. That way the pink will go over that. And just give it the shape I want it. I just know the pink is not gonna cover the black very well on its own. Okay, so that one's still a little small, isn't it? Let's see, let's see if we can get that brought out here a little bit more. I just added a lot of white. It's gray and that's all right. Okay, so that'll be good. We're gonna let that dry pretty well. So in the meantime, let's take another little brush. Actually, I think just like a flat brush like this would be great. And I'm gonna use this lime green and we're just gonna paint this the lime green color. And I'm just filling in the, the leaf here. And I like this color. Just goes great with that pop pink on the, the flamingo when we paint her. Okay. Get up here. Got a little black in the leaf, but that's all right because we're going to add a little black later anyway. on there and you can see the brush streaks which is really uh, kind of nice actually it gives a little bit of a, a textured look a painterly look and let's go around the head here okay get these guys done Yeah, so I can see I'll have to add a little more black on the outside there. But that'll work out good just to smooth it out a little bit. Okay. 
a little black there, that's okay. And I went over the black a little bit, but you know, the green is just so iridescent or so light colored that it just doesn't really show up on the black. And I am dragging some of that black into the leaf, which is good. I kind of actually like that. See, I drug that in there. And I guess I should have painted that leaf there, but Let's see how it looks, because I did put the leaf there in the original one I painted, but let's just kind of see how it looks since it's, since he's a little bigger tonight. And, alrighty. So let's go ahead and, can you still see that? Okay, let's take the pink. I'm gonna take the, this little filbert, and I'm gonna take, I'm gonna use, what color is it? It's the Royal Fuchsia, and it's just the Anita's Craft Paints. All these are either Apple Barrel or, or Anita's Craft Paints or any kind of craft paint, like a plaid craft paints. And we're just going to fill her, fill in this one real quick. So if you don't get good enough coverage... And there's pencil lines or anything showing through. You can always add just a touch of white. And it will cover it. Not enough to, to change the color of the pink, but just a touch. Okay. And you can see I'm going, painting it kind of like the, the direction of his feathers. So that if there's a little texture there, it looks like feathers. We'll go back in and fill that in, put his legs in. It's the black's got to be really dry before we can do that. Just put her, put the legs in. Okay, I did pull out some of the black, which is fine. Kind of got it into the pink, but we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of black to him anyway. see with my the lighting tonight but hopefully I'm getting it right there and put his head here okay so now I've got him in there make sure everything's covered I just want to make sure the canvas is covered the black we can always go back over to okay got that oops I was going to wash that, but I'm not going to. I'm actually going to use the same pink and the flowers. And I did get the... I also grabbed the regular magenta because it's a little darker. thought, well, we might want to change the flowers up a little bit, add a little magenta. I'm not sure. It's kind of nice doing things on the fly because you can just make it however you want to make it. I just love this painting. It's just so much fun. I like the fun stuff and the cute stuff. Okay, go up here. And again, I pulled some of the black, which is fine because we'll be adding black to it anyway. And we'll put the stem there since there's space. We'll just move it, which is good. Make the changes on the fly. This might not work too good. Let's see. It's still a little damp. It 
see if I can get this to work. It's just kind of giving it a little bit of a different color. A little darker color since it was the gray. I'm just gonna take that, let me just wipe that off. Okay, we'll put this down. We might have to go over this little guy again. Oh, hope can y'all hear my goat? He's out yelling for me to bring him food. He can hear me talking in here and he wants food. He just ate like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> and whoever told me goats ate weeds lied to me because my goat doesn't eat weeds. He likes bananas. He's a big, huge goat. One of those big, huge white goats, the boar goats with the brown on his head. But gosh, he's just a sweetheart. He'll curl right up in your lap. So this is actually pulling that gray a little bit and the white or the black that I had used earlier to fill it in. And I kind of like the color actually. Let me kind of get that round here. Yeah, it's not really round, but that's okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and rinse my brush. And I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna get the black. I want the middle of the flower to be black. So it's one thing I didn't do. You know, I might need to get a little detail brush. Put that in there. Yeah, you can make these any color you want. And you can make the background blue and all this, The like I said, all the stuff that's black, you could make blue or purple or green, whatever color you like. And goat, can you hear my goat? He's so funny. His name is Rick because he yells like that goat on, I can't remember what commercial it is. I think it's that cereal commercial or an insurance commercial. And the goat's name was Rick and he screams bah, real loud. And our goat screams out loud, so we named him Rick. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna fill in here. I see where I've, I missed some of the black. And I want it back in there. So that my canvas isn't showing through. Down here, his legs will be here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use white first. But I'm just making sure the canvas is covered. It's not coming through, everything's got a color. And let's go around this pink flower kind of here. Let's just do it this way with the black so it looks more separated. Yeah, kind of like that. I might need to add a little more pink. And over here, we're gonna just gonna go this way a little bit. Make the leaves, the petals a little fat. Okay, now we're going to use the, and that doesn't need to have black in between the, the petals either. Usually the petals touch each other, but I'm gonna leave it like that. I kind of like it. So on the beak, we're going to use a little bit of white. And let that dry a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and put in his legs. So his legs come down. And this one kind of crosses like so, and this one comes all the way down, kind of like that, and I'm also going to go over this in pink, so let's give him a little knot on his knees, 
And unfortunately, I put them way low. I could have actually probably just done both legs straight down. That would probably look better. So let me do that. This is, this is how we fix it, just on the fly. So I'm gonna go ahead and put his legs straight down. So we're going to take that and put that there. Now his legs are straight down. <laughs> and let's go ahead and take a little bit of, I wanna wait for that to dry. Let's go ahead and take the black and let's paint his eye in here. Give him his eye, the black of his eye. And I'm gonna take this little brush and we're just gonna give the leaves some texture and color. Not outlining the whole leaf, just kind of giving it some, so you can kind of tell it's really there. So I'll do something flat and green. And then we'll also do that on the flowers. I'm gonna get a smaller, I'm gonna get a, let's see, let's use, I really wanna use a liner brush. I don't know what I did with my liner brush. Here's one, so I'm gonna use a liner brush and I got it really wet. And we're just gonna take the black and let's kind of go around part of the flower. Now see, I've already got the black in there, so that looks really good. The black from when I painted the pink, I'll just add a little bit there. And I put my arm in it, always I paint myself. And we're just gonna get this little bit of black, you know, just, just a little personality on the, on the petals so they stand out a little bit more. And then on the bird, I'm gonna give him a little personality on his tail. And maybe right here, so like his wings. And I'm just making little lines. And Give him a little up here, just a little black, just for, just for personality. And we're gonna do the same thing with the white. So we'll use the black and the white. Maybe a little up here. And let me, I'm going to rinse this out real quick and dry it off. And then we're gonna use the little brush, the, the little detail brush I had a minute ago. And we're going to do his beak. So his beak is actually outlined. Black on the end. Black on the end. And then, He's got a, he's going to have a black line through his beak, but it's still a little wet. So I'm going to take white on my liner brush and we're going to give his eyeball a little bit, a couple of dots of white and make it look not quite so solid. Then I'm going to take the liner brush again with the white and we're going to do exactly kind of, not exactly, but similar to the black lines. To lighten it up just a little bit. On the pink. And it kind of brightens it up a little bit there. And we're gonna go ahead and paint the little middle piece sticking out here. And let's do that one, I guess, here with the white. And I'm gonna add pink to that as well. Oh, I don't know why I rinsed my brush. We're still gonna use the white. <laughs> and we're going to give the bird some white. Just to kind of brighten them up a little bit. 
And let's fill in the legs so that they're not showing through so dark. And this forgot the leaf. Don't want to forget the leaf, do I? Sorry, I hope I'm not shaking that camera. I'm trying not to. So we'll put some white in there. And now I'm gonna rinse my brush. And I'm gonna use the pink. And we're gonna put some pink with the white. And with this white. I'm gonna rinse the brush. And I love dots, so I always have to have dots on mine. So I'm gonna go ahead and take, I think I'm gonna use the white, I'm gonna use the white dots inside the plant. And out here. And out here. I love dots. I think it brightens it up and cheers it up. So I like putting them on there. And of course you can put dots or anything you want to put wherever you want to put them. Let's cover that right there. Maybe here. What do you think? I think it looks pretty cute. It's kind of dark, but I think it looks good. And I don't think I'm going to add that leaf there. Mm-hmm. Or should I put a leaf right here? I probably should. Let's go ahead, let's do that. Let's just see what happens. So if we do a leaf here, like it's coming this way, right against him, and this way, that maybe let's just paint it in and see what it looks like what do you think oops I need a little bit bigger brush than the liner brush so this is kind of fun whenever you change thing on the change things on the fly it's a lot of fun it can be anyway we're gonna see if it works out it might not but I kind of think it needs another leaf it just was a little too dark so we'll stick this up in here. Put it behind him. Sorry, when I paint straight lines, I can't talk. Even semi-straight lines, I can't talk. <laughs> I'm learning. Okay, so let's put that up here and put this kind of like that. Alrighty, and then let's add some black lines in between. I left the black lines out. Make it look more like the leaf that it's supposed to be. And let's see what else. Yeah, I think that's looking much better. I think he's got more of, it's uneven. I like it uneven. So let's see, let's get the liner brush and we're gonna put some white on it and some black on it. Yeah. And it looks a little darker, which is okay because it's kind of in the shadow of the of the bird. And it kind of looks like it's shadowed, so that kind of worked out pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in his pink right here. That kind of got green. Picked up that green there. Okay. So what else have we got? Let's put I'm gonna put a little white line down the middle of these guys. 
give it more of a leaf look. And I think that's it. I don't know, I'd love to put in some more white dots somewhere. I'm just not sure where I should put them in. What do you think? <laughs> I guess I could put them in around the leaves, maybe. I just, I'm a dot person. I guess maybe I need to do a mandala, some mandala sometime. Okay, so how's that? I just don't want it boring. And maybe a little more white on the bird. What do you think? What do you think? Does that look good? I can't tell if you can see it straight up and down or not. So let me move the camera, sorry. <laughs> and let's see if we can do it this, oh, Wait, it says I can't move my phone while recording. So, can you see that right there? There he is. <laughs> what do you think? Hopefully you like him. He's a lot of fun and he's really easy to paint. And I did put the tracer on there. Um, if you do paint it, I'd love to see it because as you can tell, you can make it any, any way you want to make it. So, But I appreciate y'all joining me tonight and I will see you Thursday night at 6 p.m. for Thursday Night Live. And I'll figure the phone out by then. <laughs> Thanks. Y'all take care. Have fun. Bye-bye.